Joe Perkins. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. We begin in the skies above Vancouver Island. In the past week, there have been multiple reports of strange flying objects darting across the horizon above Victoria. On Friday, a meteor streaked across B.C., working its way down into Washington State. But it's what else was in the sky that night that has many curious, including a prominent UFO researcher who says he's now on the case. CTV's Gord Kerbis has the story. A meteor tracking website shows the January 11th reports of people sighting a fiery object in the sky traveling from B.C. towards Washington State. But it seems that a meteor may not have been the only thing in the sky at that time. There are definitely some odd stuff took place on the 11th, and it took place on the island and the Victoria area around, around there, and definitely in the lower mainland. Brian Vike is a UFO investigator based in Houston, British Columbia. That's right, the other Houston. His blog, The Vike Factor, is now filled with sightings from the 11th of strange lights and a triangular-shaped object the size of a school bus over Vancouver Island. A woman had taken her uh, children to school. She stopped. Uh, this is after a 6.30 meteor sighting. She had looked up a flash of the sky again, bang, here comes this solid object, triangular in shape, three orange balls at each of the points. She watched it move along, it came to a hover, and then bang, all the three balls of light went into the center, and bang, this thing was gone. I looked up in the sky and I saw just this light coming over. It doesn't look like it's from Earth, it looks like it's from somewhere else. We've spoken with Vancouver Islanders before about their strange sightings, and then Vike has looked into many of them as well. He's been investigating UFO sightings across Canada with a keen interest in his home province. What are you? He was recently sent this video of a strange flying object over the lower mainland shot with a night vision camera. And he's got objects doing all kinds of weird things in the sky at night and everything, and this is on a tripod steady and everything, so it's got some weird stuff. Since starting, Vike has looked into more than 11,000 reports and says 90% of them can be explained. Usually people seeing light reflected off the International Space Station and Chinese lanterns or search and rescue flares are often mistaken for more mysterious objects. But every once in a while reports jump out at them, like this 2010 sighting by a woman near Campbell River. This thing actually rose up from the, from the ground, hovered a little bit and then came towards her vehicle. By this time she's kind of, you know, getting a little excited and freaking out. And it went right over top of her vehicle and it was another triangle. Mike says 2013 is already starting off with an incredible number of reports. Anyone seeing strange objects is invited to contact him through British Columbia UFOs.blogspot.ca. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney. Several people in the Oildale area and some in Bakersfield reported seeing strange lights in the sky last night. Unsure of what to make of it, they asked Eyewitness News to check it out. I looked up and I seen a perfect triangle three lights and they were like orangish red not blinking well this was like a dull yellow and you can just see it like a like if you were to put a triangle and you flip the triangle flat it wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane i think it was ufo the only thing i could think it was was aliens God. we're moving catch this it. is real catch. stuff catch it. Catch this is not fake it's been described as a light or lights in the sky varying in color number the speed it was moving and what time it was visible. But no one can pinpoint what it was that they saw. To me, it looked like a paper bag that was on fire or a fire balloon. A plane on fire. To some, it's sparking talk about the impending end of the world, which, according to the Mayan calendar, is supposed to be on December 21st, 2012. I look at this way, if the, if the world ends, I'm ready to go. They talk about it every year, something's going to happen. Nothing ever does. Dang, dude, this is weird. You can't see it no more, but they're there. Everyone agreed that after a while, the lights just disappeared. Oh, well, where'd it all go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was just vanished. Oh, my God, they're, they're beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So the question remains, was it aliens? Look at this one. We go out to other planets to, to investigate and, you know, find new life. Why can't they do the same thing? Now, the video of those lights was shot by people who saw it last night, local people in the area. And after reports of the sighting last night, Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Miles Musio made phone calls to NASA and Vandenberg Air Force Base, but we have yet to get a response. 
Stories like this one come from viewers like you. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, call the Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929. Again, the number is 869-2929. A mystery in the sky. A Wichita man is looking for clues tonight after spotting something unusual. KSN's Kianga Kelly spoke to the man and went in search of answers. Kianga? Is it a plane or is it something else? Either way, Jeff Templin says what he saw in the sky was not the usual aircraft that flies over his home. Right over the city, clear as a bell, anybody that was looking up would have seen it. Jeff Templin is a amateur photographer. He says he's seen it all until now. While taking pictures of wildlife back in February, something caught his eye. He said it looked like an unusual contrail. You don't usually see military or even civilian aircraft, jets which leave contrails making those kind of severe departures off of a given route. Tiplin says the aircraft made several severe 180 degree turns in the sky in the shape of an S. Even more unusual. Absolutely silent, no sound. So he snapped a few photos and took it home. When I put them on my